Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what went through your person's mind the first time that they saw you. So what was their first impression of you, their initial thoughts of you? This is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. Um, my email address is going to be listed below. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. You've got a fair bit of Pentacles energy here, haven't you? Um, the Presence of the Lovers card here. This just may have been love at first sight for some of you. This is someone whom instantly felt a, a special closeness or a special bond. Or they instantly fell in love with you. Okay, Or they could have easily laid their eyes upon you and saw just how easily... They, you know, could see themselves falling in love with you and someone like you here. Uh, someone very, this person felt very instantly drawn and connected to you. It feels like this is a moth to a flame type of a connection here. The first time that they saw you, the feelings that they felt, they knew to, those feelings to be very true and very authentic here. They had no idea the things that you'd go on to do with to them. Like for example, you know, that that the fact that they saw themselves falling so or have fallen so madly and deeply in love with you here. They wouldn't have a clue the strong and beautiful connection that you would go on to form with one another. Their heart is full of memories for you and especially the day that the two of you've met. They felt, I feel like this person, there was a strong sexual energy here between the two of you. There was a lot of chemistry, um, a very electrifying type of energy. You guys have both, you, you were both drawn to each other. So like insects, like moths to a flame. They, ver they thought that you were extremely beautiful here, perhaps the most attractive person that they've met they couldn't take their eyes off you also I feel like there's something about your name here they kept notice they loved to um, and they still do maybe love to say your name and notice how they kept mentioning your name a lot of the time in conversation that's because the way they love the way their your name rolls off their tongue, but also it was in an effort to to try and get closer to you, to build you know a connection with you. They thought that you have these heartbreaking is of blue eyes that I'm getting. They thought that you you know you were a little heartbreaker when they first saw you, someone who has broken hearts here. The first time they saw you, they knew that all they wanted was you. Even for some, even if it was just for one night, but they saw that they, they wanted you and they had to have you here. They knew that they were in trouble the first time they saw you smile. 
This person's a little cocky. They also knew that you you would be theirs. They also knew that in time they would make you theirs. Because I felt like this person wasn't taking no for an answer. They also felt like you're someone, because you're so attractive here and you're so beautiful, they thought that you, you would be someone who has a lot of romantic suitors around you, you know, vying for your attention. So they knew that they had to bring their A game here. They knew that, you know, it wasn't going to be easy here trying to win you over. The day that they've met you here, their life has certainly changed here. It can be very hard to explain, but I feel like you've made them fall in love deeper. They'll never forget the first time that they saw you. And every time that they saw you after that, I felt like that attraction between one another just grew in time. I do feel like it, it, their walls here have come down for you. That may not have happened at once, but this is someone who, for a lot of you, this is someone who, you know, wanted something very solid with you. They thought that this is it. This is the type of person they could bring home back to their parents. You know, they could tell their friends about they were afraid to talk to you the very first time they saw you. So I don't know, for some of you, you might have approached this person because I feel like they were intimidated here by your beauty, your looks and the way that you carried yourself. Maybe you were in a group setting and they were intimidated to approach because there were so many of you. Maybe they you know, just weren't very sure. They could see that you were staring their way and they could feel that energy, that vibe between the two of you, but maybe they just weren't really sure. and. You know, they were tossing up whether it was real or imagined in their head here. They also noticed that um, you had like little, like behavior, you've had little behavior or quirks. So for example, say if you met in a bar setting, there may be a certain way that you drink your, um, or hold your glass. And they've noticed these little things about you. Because I feel like they were really staring and studying you. Now for some of you, this was uh, maybe this person. When the two of you have first met, this is someone who was in a relationship or in a connection with someone else. However, it just feels like this person has, you know threw their moral compass out the window when they saw you. It just feels like this is someone who saw you and felt as if that's it, they have to have you here. You've also met in a very unexpected way here. But they're so glad that you walked through those doors that day or they showed up to that particular place because there you were here. That first time you locked eyes with them, that first time you threw your smile at them, the first time that you talked, this is something that they never forget about you. And to me, it feels like this person is holding on to the memories, especially of the first time that you've met here. They'd have no clue as to just how deeply they would end up falling in love with you. They'd have no clue as to just how deeply and passionate this connection would go. They've, I, I can see that this person has put in a lot of work and a lot of effort here to keep the romance or keep the passion alive. Or this is someone who has, you know, has been fighting for you. And they'll continue to, to do so because they feel like you're worth it. There has been some sort of shift as of lately in the energies. I don't know whether for some of you this is a good or a bad thing, but yes, I definitely see this as a shift. But just as the natural ebb and flow of life and its rhythm, okay, so uh, relationships, you know, it goes through a bit of a roller coaster here. But I feel like this is someone who is very attracted to you, who's very drawn to you, and this is someone who I feel like will continue to fight for you, even if there has been this shift that we're seeing here. I do feel like this is someone who will continue to fight for you and for the connection and for the love that you have because ultimately I do feel like this is love. This is someone who wants 
this is someone who wants forever with you i feel like this is someone who wants a new beginning or a fresh emotional start this is someone who wants to be committed to you and to building this connection and making it work here this is someone who feels as though that day that you walk through those doors it was destiny and it couldn't have happened any other way and they're so thankful it did all right guys and these are your messages so thank you as always for uh, watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel thanks guys again bye for now